this slideshow we will be looking into the history of the cyclotron, its limitation and the developments made in it. The first slide shows you two great scientists who invented the cyclotron in the year 1934. It is a 27 inch cyclotron. E. O. Lawrence that is Ernest Ornaldo Lawrence was a pioneering American nuclear scientist who invented the cyclotron along with the co-inventor M.S. Livingstone, Milton Stanley Livingstone. Ernest Ornaldo Lawrence won a Nobel Prize in the year 1939 for his invention of the cyclotron. Coming to the limitations of cyclotron, it can accelerate the charge of particles to energies not greater than 25 million electron volts. The other limitation is, as the particles move with high speed and the speed approaches the speed of light, mass increases. As mass increases, frequency decreases according to the relation given below. This violates the resonance condition and the electric field decelerates the charged particles instead of accelerating them. This limitation was overcome by modifying the cyclotron into another device called synchro cyclotron. In this particular device, the frequency of the oscillator connected to the two Ds can be varied and adjusted according to the required frequency. This synchro cyclotron can accelerate the charged particles up to 1 billion electron volts, which is much greater than a cyclotron. Another way of increasing the frequency of oscillations is by making use of a varying magnetic field. The magnetic field can be increased along the periphery of the D's and this effect is called azimuthal variation of the magnetic field. The accelerators which operate in this way are called as isochronous or azimuthally varying 